Hello, my name is Wapiti, and my name is Snowman, and this is Briar Horse News. Today's topic is the Quarter Horse Contest. <laughs> Sounds interesting, huh, Snowman? Yes, it does, indeed. Now, how about we start off with the Quarter Horse Contest, since we have just mentioned it, shall we? I guess we shall. Now, the Briar American Quarter Horse Contest contest is a photo contest and there will be only three winners very unfortunate out of probably the thousands maybe even millions of people out there so try your hardest in the contest you will be judged by 50% creativity 25% skill and 25% adherence to the theme on your briar horse well, your briar horse, quarter horse. <laughs> yeah. One person will be chosen from each category. The categories are 10 and under, 11 through 16, and 17 and older. The prizes? Well, the prizes come in a prize package, which will hopefully be mailed to the person on April 27th, 2015, correct? Yes, indeed. And, um... Which the prize package has an American Coda horse, traditional, 75th anniversary horse, one Rambo blanket, and one Western stock halter with a lead. Remember, only three will win. Also, remember, for more information, go on www.briarhorses.com slash quarter horses. Um, Quarter Horse Contest 2015, I believe. Or just go on the Briar Horse website, which is, of course, www.briarhorses.com. Alright, changing the subject here. It is almost Easter. So, there's an Easter's Kids Grab a Bag, which is $49.50 on the Briar website. And the bag... Holds a hundred dollar certificate to the Briar Horse website, so you can buy any horse for um, well, you know, spend a hundred dollars on the Briar Horse website, uh, which is pretty awesome for people who do have a yeah thing on the Briar Horse website. Yeah, because there's so many good things on the Briar Horse website. Um, also. Um, the Easter grab bag comes with one traditional, one classic, and one stablemate in the grab bag. At least that's what I heard. Yes, we're not too sure. Also, Briar is now making pony pouches. The colors are pink and blue. The bags you, the bags are used so you can put your Briar horses in the bags with the them getting damaged so you can put them like in a drawer or something and they won't be hurt or you could take them out for a briar horse movie if you are making one in this case me well uh seraphine madonna is but you know just the normal and also if you are moving it would be a safe way to transport your briar horses if you do not have a big collection or something um yes so, also, Briar has a new category, which is the Polo Pony. Um, how about we give the camera to Gary, shall we? Thank you, Wapiti and Snowman. Now, I am part of this category, so let's get started. Now, first, there is me, San Santi Santiago the polo pony then there is Ni Nico the polo rider and then there's the tra traditional polo saddle set now polo is a horse sport where it's kind of like golf but it's more of a extreme sport and plus you are on a horse I mean really who wouldn't want to be on a horse if you're a horse lover. I mean, if you're a horse hater, then get out of this channel now. 
Um, <coughs> continuing. So, since you're on a horse, um, you have a mullet with you, so that's that you could hit the ball with. So, unfortunately, the horse will, um, this does not happen occasionally, get hit in the face a lot. <sighs> We are bred in Argentina, which is technically in South Am America. The horses are the horses' tails are wrapped and their manes are roached. Um, so this this um sport started in Persia, sixteen hundred BC. Plus, it was played in more than sixty countries. Which is actually a lot. So, yeah. Alright, well, back to you, Pity and Snowman. Thank you, Gary. And Briar has a bit more information on Briarfest. So, yes, we are going to be getting into that. Yes. And for the Saturday raffle, there is a new model and it is Ku Sira Sira or Sarah Sarah. It's either Sira Sira or Sarah Sarah. Um and more special runs too. For example, Halt Courture. Well, beautiful, beautiful. Letura the bull um Letura is different than any bull I've seen. <laughs> yes. And last but not least, the special Quell Surprise. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you can write down in the comment section if you know how to pronounce it. Never mind, um, you can't really do that, so that's unfortunate. You cannot record your voice, unfortunately. <sighs> well, Amazing! I would love to see the surprise. That would be amazing to see and awesome. Not amazing, but awesome. Um. So, um. Yes. Now, what about the Benefit live auction horse, though? Oh, yes. For the live auction horse is the Desig... Ugh. Desatadu in Dapple Palomino Pinto. Wow, well, about more, well, that is a very beautiful horse. Um, now, how about we move the camera on to Cupid, shall we? Thank you, Wat Petty and Snowman. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, now, today's, well, as you guys know, I do bring in very special guests. That who are very famous and who we've been interested in so far. So today we are going to be inviting Smoke and Double Dutch. Hello there. Well, we are very excited to see you. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. This is a great opportunity. Well, now. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your life and what's going on right now? Of course I would. Let's see. My owners say that I pack a whole lot of pizzazz in a small package, which I believe means that because I'm a pony and I do a lot of cool things, you know? And people say I'm also a working machine out in the Chopin. I do driving, I do some normal riding, I am an American Quarter Pony, I am part of the IQPA, which is, um, kind of forgot what it stands for, but that's for the humans to figure out. Um, I am a paint, I, um, so, I've been named the Quarter Pony of the Association a few times. 14.2 um, hands tall. Some people say that um, my um, 
pattern can't be found on American Quarter Horses, which I actually don't believe, but why don't you believe that? You are kind of the same breed, except you are a pony. Well, to me, ponies seem to come in different varieties of colors, which really amuses me and stuff. So I'm glad to be a pony. And in 2009, I was in honor of being named the QPA's first su Supreme Champion, which I was thrilled with. And in 2007, I earned the Superior Champion title when I was set for the honors in halter, trail driving, and like regular equine riding. And that's technically all of my life. So yeah, what an amazing story. Well, thank you so much for coming and thank you for inviting me. Well, I believe that's all the time I have. So thank you so much for coming. And um, back to you, Wapiti and Snowman. Well, thank you, Cupid, for introducing Smoking Double Dutch. I've always, I've always loved Smoking Double Dutch. Not in like I want to marry her <laughs> and, or something. No, but yes, you know what I mean, right? Yes, I do. I believe that is all the time we have, and that's all the news we have. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, Seraphina Madonna for this wonderful episode. Always thank you guys for watching. Goodbye, and stay tuned for episode three of Briar Horse News. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I think I walked into the wrong room. Huh? Oh, the camera's still rolling again. Well, this must have not been an accident. Anyways, scooch that. Um, me to the end of the video. Congratulations. Now, as you guys may know, Serafina Madonna loves my me and my mold and my color. Not to brag or anything. I forgot to mention I also have two eyes. And two different colored eyes anyways, but anyways, if you did make it to the end of the video, put Smokin' Double Dutch is awesome at, in the comments section if you did make it to the end of the video. Of course, we're not forcing you to. Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, and follow Seraphina Madonna on Instagram. Her username is Fina034. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. All right, need to fix this place up a little bit. I better get out of here. Oh, the lights are gonna turn off soon. <laughs>